It's me, Brecky Brick. Whoa, check it out. And guess what? We're at Pappy Machine and we get to learn about tractors. We are going to watch a monster truck show. Hey, it's me, Brecky Brick. And check this out. This right here is a big semi truck. Where are we straight up racing today? And guess what? We are gonna watch a monster truck show. Have you ever been to a monster truck show before or learned about monster trucks? Well, today is our lucky day. Oh man, I cannot wait to explore. Come on. Trucks? Well, they are full of monster trucks. Did you hear that? Whoa! He's gonna pull this truck out! truck trailer oh man this is so awesome these big old ramps right here this folds down and the trucks just roll right up onto here right here and right here oh boy that means you can crawl under it and work on it if you needed to wow this is awesome wow all of these trucks have their own characteristics and name this one right here it's identity theft oh boy well good luck today identity theft <laughs> And check this orange one out. This one's called a crash test dummy. <laughs> That's pretty silly. This one's name is Spitfire. <laughs> These are super creative names. Oh man, you see this big truck? Its name is the Weekend Warrior. <laughs> I like that. Wow, we're here with Crash Test Dummy and I wanna look at some of the parts up close before they put these giant tires on. So look at these shocks right here. These are the shocks and this goes up and down so he can do big jumps. Woohoo! 
This right here is the engine. Isn't this crazy? Whoa, that's a big engine because this truck has a lot of power. It's got to propel these thousand pound tires over big jumps. That must take a lot of energy. This right here is the exhaust. Oh man, whoa, that's got to look cool. Check out this fuel tank right here. That's pretty big. And this right here is a hydraulic jack and it will lift up this truck so that we can put the tires on it easier. Oh man, did you see that? That's the hydraulic jack in action. This is my friend Dallas right here and he's taking off all the lug nuts of the tires so we can take this one off and put the big ones on. Isn't that cool? truck driving for a day? Well, I can't actually drive this monster truck at the uh, show tonight, but I can pretend. You want to see me get all dressed up and jump into the cab? Oh boy! Oh man, check it out! I get to reel the real crash test dummy too. And it's even a little fire resistant too. Whoa! Check out this helmet. Look at this. You see this? This is a neck and back brace. And when you put this helmet on, you can strap this up around your waist so it helps hold your back straight because when these things are flipping around, you do not want to break your neck or your back. That is really dangerous. So that's extra safety precautions. Pretty cool, huh? Let's put it on. All right, check it out. Hey, it's me. You see that? For stabilization, pretty cool. All right, well now we're gonna climb into the cab of this big truck. Oh man! Oh, check it out! I'm inside the cab of this monster truck. There's a special seatbelt that you can put on right here and it keeps you locked in. And then over here, see down here? There's a ratchet and you ratchet yourself tight into this one spot and it holds you really steady. And look at this, this is the steering wheel and you can pop it on like this. You see this lever right here? This lever controls the back tires. It makes the back tires move. Isn't that so cool? And of course we have the gas pedal right here and the brake. Look at this, we've got an oil gauge and the water temperature. This is so cool. You see this thing right here? In case there's a fire, you'd pull out the pin and pull this and then fire retardant would come out of these spots right here. You see up there? That's an awesome safety measure, huh? Well, I feel like a real monster truck driver. Oh yeah, look at me, I'm a real monster truck driver! Whoa, check out the cab of Rockstar. It's got two seats in it. That's pretty awesome. This is my friend Dallas. Hey, how's it going? Glad what? you guys could make it out. Oh, thank you so much. And guess what? He is the creator of Crash Test Dummy. So Dallas, how long did it take you to build this big truck? It took me about six years just to build what you see here. Oh, wow. That is a lot of hard work put into this. So are you going to be driving this today? Actually, usually I drive this truck, but 
this weekend, I'm not going to be driving it. I'm going to hand the keys over to my friend John. Oh, cool. So he's actually going to be the announcer today. So we're going to get to hang out with Dallas later. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. All right, Dallas. Well, I'll let you get back to getting everything ready for tonight's show. We'll see you later. Sounds good. are gonna have their show in this arena and they're gonna drive over these big crash cars. So he's picking them up, painting them a blue and yellow and it's gonna be so awesome. <laughs> Whoa, you see that big forklift right there? Well, he's grabbing another car to bring over there to paint. Let's go watch him paint. That's the color blue. It's super pretty too. Right on! The trucks are all cleaned up. We've checked them. They're ready to drive. And now we're getting ready to start the parade. This is going to be a parade of trucks going all the way over to the arena through the fairgrounds. Oh man, I cannot wait! monster trucks so what are we looking at here so you have our shocks that's what oh absorb the the jumps when we jump big oh that and sounds like fun you have brakes which typically go on your wheels for a car but we have it there on a oh. monster truck just because they're so big wow drive lines that's what make it go forward and backwards of course tires so we have our steering rams, that's what make it turn. Wait, so do the back tires turn too? 
Yes, so front and rear tires turn. That's pretty awesome. Right here, as you can see, we have an engine. That's what makes our all of our power to turn these massive 66 inch tires. That's a 1500 horsepower engine. That is a big engine. So we also have all of the green bars, the tubes that you see, that is our chassis. That's the structure <laughs> of a monster truck. Wow, so where do you find a monster truck like this? Actually, we built pretty much all of this. They built this entire truck. Isn't that so awesome? And you can see Straight Up Racing's emblem all throughout the truck. Check it out. Wow, that's a lot of different parts of this big truck, huh? Well, thanks a lot, Dwight. I can't wait to watch you drive this monster. <laughs> of course, hopefully it's a good show tonight. <laughs> They just went through and inspected all of the trucks and looked for all of the safety shutoff valves and lines. So that way they know if there starts a fire, they know how to shut off the fuel pump. And now they're going to go have a safety meeting to talk with all the drivers. Safety first. There they are. They're having their safety meeting. Wow. Because of this crew and them taking safety seriously, they can travel with this show all over the country and even the world. Isn't that so fun? We're at the pit party, and this is where the fans get to come and meet the drivers and have them sign their autograph on some special merch. Isn't that awesome? Wow, well, check this out. This is my friend Lorna. And guess what? Her and her husband Bill are the owners of Straight Up Racing, and she's actually a driver of this monster truck. Rockstar, isn't that awesome? Wow, Lauren, are you excited? I am so excited for today. Today is going to be a great day, beautiful day, and we go get to crush some cars. Woohoo! And look at this cool helmet she gets to wear. Wow, I love the pink <laughs> hair. That's really fun. All right, well, good luck out there today, Lauren. Thank you. All right, well, we just wrapped up the pit party. Time to get ready for the show. Are you excited? Oh boy, well let's go grab our seat up in the stands. Come on. Wow, look at this. We're in the stands now. But guess what? Today, we're gonna sit with Dallas up in the sound booth. Come on, I'll show you. Wow, check this out. This right here is the sound booth. We'll get to sit up here and look at that view. Welcome from Phoenix as we get ready for all kinds of fun here on Friday night. Don't forget, you can be the winner of a special prize with a social media giveaway. So from tour on Facebook.com. Wow, Dallas is a really good announcer, isn't he? Oh, man, good job, Dallas. Wow, check it out. Here comes the drivers. The show's about to start. Oh, boy. So as Dallas is talking to the drivers down there, we have a sound guy right here, and he's turning on awesome music for all the drivers and now. All right, well the stands are just about full, so the show's about to start.
those competitions and those big trucks. They sure are talented. That was amazing. Good job, guys. Wow, that was good job. That was awesome. Well, now that the show's over, all the fans are leaving. So guess what that means? That means the drivers and the crew, they got to clean up that big mess. Awesome. This was the best day ever. All right, well, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Now it's time to listen to the Monster Truck song.
Pepe Machinery, and we get to learn about tractors. Here at Pepe Machinery, they have lawn mowers, tractors, even huge combine harvesters. I can't wait to learn about them. And did you notice? They're two of my favorite colors, green and yellow. Woo, that's super exciting. This is gonna be the best day ever, come on. Oh my goodness, wow, here at Pepe Machinery, they sell a lot of farming equipment. Oh man, and big machines. They even have some toys over here. Let's go take a look real quick. Oh wow, look at all these tractor toys. It's a flashlight. <laughs> That's super awesome. Look at this one right here. This is a giant tractor. Oh boy. Maybe I'll get to drive one like that. That'd be really fun. Ooh, and look at this. This is like an old tractor. That looks like a lot of fun. Ooh, and it's made of metal too. Wow, well, not only do they sell toys here, but there's some people in the back working on these big machines. You wanna go take a look? Come on. Oh, wow, check this out. Look at this big room. You see that over here? That's a combine harvester. Oh wow, this is a big shop where a bunch of mechanics are working on all these machines. Look at him! Whoa! What's he doing over here? What are you working on here? I'm doing some welding. Oh man, that looks like a lot of fun. But do you see this big mask he's gonna wear? It protects his eyes from the light that that puts off. Oh boy. Always wear safety protection. Safety first! Look at these cool mechanics. They've got these cool suits on and everything. Oh boy, here at Pappy Machinery, they sure know how to get the job done. Oh wow, check this tractor out. He's working on something over here, and the cab is off the top of the tractor. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Check this out. He's working on a lawnmower. What are you doing to this lawnmower? Well, I'm trying to fix the carburetor at the moment. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Well, hey, do you like to dance, Zach? Thanks a lot. Wow, well now that we've got to take a look at the service area, let's go check out some of the big tractors they have outside. Wow, check out this little tractor. This little one can get into smaller areas to work on smaller dodges. Wow, look at this side by side. These are used to drive around the farm. If you have a huge farm and you can't walk all across the acreage, you can just jump in one of these things. Isn't that awesome? Goodness, this is a riding lawnmower. Woo! Under here is the blade, and it cuts out the grass on the other side and it spits it out. Woo! And look at this, this is another type of lawnmower. This is a zero turn lawnmower, so it can spin around and cut the grass. That's why there's no tread on these tires. This is so huge. It has tracks instead of wheels. Look how tall those are. Whoa. Well, guess what? I'm going to drive it. Come on. tractor look at these tracks do you see all these wheels connected oh my goodness this machine weighs 60,000 pounds that is a heavy tractor and right here look at this a massive hitch you can hitch up a big tiller over there <gasps> Whoa! that gets hooked up to here and you drag it through the farm wow this big machine has tracks instead of wheels because it can grip through the mud really, really nicely. And it doesn't have to slip it through. Woohoo! That is pretty awesome. Whoa! Look at this. Six 
620 horsepower engine. That is a really, really strong tractor. Well, this is one big machine. Do you want to go check out another big machine? It's called a combine harvester. Come on, let's go look at it. Oh my goodness, check out this machine. This right here is a combine harvester. Look how big it is compared to me. <laughs> Whoa, that is a powerful machine. Well, do you know what a combine harvester is? It is a harvester that harvests wheat and corn. Whoa, let's talk about the parts of this big machine. So attached to this combine harvester, you'd have what's called the header. And it attaches to the front, and it's the blade that cuts down all the wheat or corn. Oh, man. And then it goes up through there and back here to the thrasher. Isn't that awesome? But right here, we have the cab. Do you want to go take a look? Come on. Whoa, check out this awesome cab. So right here we have the steering wheel. This is the captain chair. This is where the driver sits. This right here is called the buddy seat. Oh man, you could bring a friend like Uncle Teddy or something. He could come along with me while we're harvesting wheat. <laughs> that would be awesome. But guess what? Under the buddy seat, there's a refrigerator. Whoa, check it out. You can put all your snacks in there and stuff. Oh wow, did you notice? This combine harvester has huge windows, so you can look and see all the, the big header in front of you at all times, and you can watch where you're going really well. Right here we have a bunch of controls, and this nice screen, oh my goodness, all these buttons and controls, it looks kind of complicated, but I'm sure with a couple easy lessons it'd be nice to operate. Oh man, this is so cool. Well, let's keep looking at the outside of this machine. Oh wow. This is so awesome. Check this out. This looks kind of complicated. I don't really know much about big machines like this. Well, I want to introduce you to one of my friends. Well, this is my friend Carl. Hi there. Wow, so he's going to teach me a little bit about combine harvesters. Oh, man. So, Carl, can you tell me a little bit about what happens to the wheat once it's gone through that blade? Sure we can. Like Brecky Breck said earlier, the, the, the header up front cuts the crop off and the crop comes back into this cylinder in here, oh. and it's turning really fast, and that cylinder thrashes the wheat or the corn off of the kernels, and the kernels go up into the storage bin up above, which in turn goes into a truck, and then the waste material goes out the back. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. So what does wheat look like before it's harvested and after it's harvested? Sure, I have some samples over here. Let's check it out. Whoa, check this out. What do we have here, Carl? So here we have some wheat that's thrashed, and I'm going to show you an example of how it thrashes it in there. So if I take my hands and I crush this weed head up in my hands and rub it around, and in here you can see the little wheat kernels. Oh. See how they look like this? Wow! And then wow. this waste material goes out the back of the combine, and all of this goes out the back of the machine. That's And then these cool. wheat berries go up into the tank. Oh, so the wheat berries go up into the tank, and do they come out here? Yep, this is the unloading auger. This is where they come out into a truck. And then the truck goes off to the wheat mill. And here we have corn too. Yep, so here's some corn. Uh, same thing, it goes through the threshing separator and the corn, the threshing cylinder knocks the corn off of the cob. And when it's done, it looks like this. And then this goes out the back of the combine. Here's what the corn looks like uh, when it's threshed. Whoa, that yep. is so cool. And look at this, wheat makes bread. When you have wheat and you grind it up really fine, it makes flour and you can make bread with it. That's really cool. We also have chips because corn ground up really fine can make powder and flour for the chips. Oh man, that's so cool. I love farming. It is so awesome. Brecky Breck, would you like to see where the kernels go from the corn and the wheat in oh, the I storage bin? Oh, I love it. Yeah, let's go check it out. Come on. Now we can climb right up there. Whoa, check this out. Oh my goodness, look at this. We've got this big platform right here and you can climb up here and look inside of the grain tank. Look at that, that's crazy. This is one giant machine. Whoa, this is such a huge machine. Take a look at these fun facts. So. With Oregon's wheat crop, that means all of the combine harvesters in the state of Oregon combined, they can harvest 46 million bushels of wheat. 
This right here is a bushel of wheat. Can you imagine 46 million baskets of wheat like that? That is a lot of wheat. With all that wheat, you can make 2 billion boxes of wheat flake cereal, 4.1 billion loaves of bread, whoa. That can make 16.7 billion sandwiches. Wow, we could feed like everybody in the world two sandwiches each, that's crazy. Wow, it was a lot of fun learning about combine harvesters. Well, Carl's gonna put this big machine back on the lot, so let's ride in the buddy seat. Wow, this was a lot of fun learning about this big combine harvester. Thank you so much, Carl, for teaching me what you know. You're welcome. on a books and bike tour all over the United States. We're going to have story times at local libraries where I'll read a couple of my favorite books, we'll make a fun craft, and even have time for a little dance party. We're also hosting bike events you can attend at local BMX tracks. You can show up with or without a bike. I'll bring some extra bikes and helmets for those that don't have one. And we'll get to explore and ride around the track together. And while I'm in your 
city, I'm going to film something amazing. Whether it's a cool museum, park, restaurant, or an awesome machine with wheels, I want to learn about it and all the things that make your city unique. And thanks to all of our amazing sponsors, these events are all absolutely free! Isn't that so cool? Oh boy, I hope to meet you on the road!